around here, Skunk Squirrel. And we have a very exciting review opportunity for you to start off with. <laughs> On the table. <sighs> I really need to rethink my life. On the table. Here we go. Let's get this going. Okay. On the table. Uh, oh wait, those are still there? Oh no. On the table, poopies. Let's get this potty started. Series one from Basic Fun. Oh boy, I am having a real tough time with this one. I'm actually amazed these made it on the table. Oh boy, I don't even know what to say. This is a tough one. I mean, where do I begin? A toy based on this has been done before and obviously with the popularity of the poop emoji, uh, things like this are happening. It is a great tool for potty training, I'll tell you that. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm so reluctant to look at these, is I am just kind of on the tail end of potty training in my family. And I've seen some things. I've seen some things I don't ever want to see again. I'm turning green right now, even just talking about this. With that said, the box design is really nice. <clears throat> um, so these are the poopies on shelf. January 2018, and it kind of looks like they're selling pretty well. I first read about them late last year, saw them last week on the shelf when I returned today, it looked like a good amount had sold. So kids are thinking about them. Although with killer brands like Grocery Gang and Shopkins, of course something like this could be also popular. And there is a competing brand called Flush Force, which we can look at too. I suppose the best we can do that we usually do here is open things up and check them out and hopefully not pass out. Let's start where it all begins, and well, ends, with the Poopy's Toilet Launcher. Includes two exclusive characters. Plop your poopies in the toilet, watch it fly. This runs about $6.99 on shelf. On the back of the box, what's going on? The log, oh boy, and, and Poo-F-O are inside. Looks like you could use these as a pencil topper too. 36 to collect in series one. All right, let's 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 just get this out. This is a pretty realistic toilet toy when you think about it. I think a G.I. Joe or a Barbie could use this thing, possibly. Good work recreating porcelain. So, what do we got? The log, sculpted, somewhat cartoony, and Poo F.O., also cartoony. I appreciate cartoony. I don't think I could get through this if it was realistic. So we'll like, try working this thing. Uh, let's lift the lid. And what do you know, we have a little blue water-like launching platform inside. Kind of swirly, kind of realistic again. So then let's take the log here, which is pretty kind of a, a harder plastic, much harder than like Grocery Gang. It's not squishy at all, uh, that sort of thing. And I guess you could fit that on a pencil if you tried. Ah, interesting. So this is kind of like one of those suction cup launchers where you squish it down, it's going to hold temporarily, and then... Well, surprisingly, that functions actually really well for a toy. That's actually really fun. What do you know? What do you think about that skunk squirrel? <laughs> yeah, I'm still thinking about it too. Well, let's now check out the larger Poopies pack, the $10 multi-pack, or should I say the Porta Potty multi-pack, with six Poopies, including two exclusive characters. On the back of the box, the core collection of poopies. Some of them extremely cleverly named, excuse me while I dry heave, Frankenpoop, Nincompoop, that was one of my favorite words as a kid, Poopicorn, Pooperman, Skidmark, I gotta stop. Again, these might help with potty training, I don't know though. Okay, Skunk Squirrel, shall we open these? 
Yeah, I know. Turn on the ceiling fan. Okay, so here's what we have with the Poopy's Porta Potty. And the Porta Potty is actually nicely designed, a nice opening and closing case, I'm thinking. There we go, and we've got plenty of shelves inside, which is very awkward. And another toilet down on the bottom there for storage of your poopies. Not a bad little case. And then we have the poopies included. I can't remember if this is uh, different depending on which pack you pull. Uh, these are the characters that I have received. And now we're actually getting closer to what we see with like the Grocery Gang and Shopkins. Really squishy like figures. These are a little bit softer than probably what you find with Grocery Gang. Can't believe I just did that. It's funny how the two characters with the toilet launcher are actually a harder plastic versus these. Maybe it's just because the harder plastic launches better out of the toilet. Uh, but these characters are all squishy. They all have that typical hole at the bottom for like a pencil topper or for whatever thing you're going to use them for. And they feel a little bit sticky too, uh, to the touch. You can almost stick them together. Uh, again, can't believe I did that. So we have Rumble, TP, one of the few that doesn't make me die. Pooji, very close to the emoji poo. Plunger, another character I can get on board with. Very stinky, and Little Squirt. Oh my goodness. Again, from someone who has just gone through years of potty training, this is very difficult. Someone else might think this is really funny and novel. It just depends on where you're at. Also available are these Poopies Single Pack Toilet Paper Mystery Rolls. Very common with this style of toy to have a mystery pack. So if this is where you want to begin, this might be the place. I think these run about $2.99. What do you think about that, Skunk Squirrel? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's open up. Maybe we have something we haven't seen before. Kind of a strange double wrapper going on here. This one still has the secondary wrapper on. And this one's now been removed. I like the little toilet paper roll, though. That's kind of a fun little container toy to look at. Kind of difficult to remove those. Luckily, we have like a little offset toilet paper roll edge you can work with with a small knife or scissors. All right, what do we got in the first one here? It looks like we have an opening door. Well, that's weird. Didn't expect that. Oh, that's kind of novel. I wasn't really reading the outside of the package, but two poopies are included. We have found another Poojee, who is common by the way, so now we do have common, rare, super rare, and ultra rare. And Dr. Fartstein, who is also common. Looks like I haven't really found anything rare yet, or super rare. Don't even want to see the ultra rare. Let's open the other one. Have we just found the legendary super rare Poopicorn? I think we did. I'm extremely disgusted right now, but it is a super rare, so I should be somewhat excited. And we found a rare poodle, so that is also something to celebrate, I guess. Oh my goodness. Gonna need a few weeks off here. So what I was hinting at earlier, there actually is a competing brand right next to Poopies from Spin Master, Poopies being from Basic Fun. Two toilet toys in the same month. Yikes. Flush Force. Looking to be a little closer related to maybe Grocery Gang. We'll see what we get, but we also have another toilet mystery box here. And there are other toys in this collection. I just figured let's just go with one. See what we have. Let's open up. Looks like we have a sort of barrier to break on this toy. Very common with Spin Master toys, especially with the Hatchimals and stuff. Pull this out, kind of hard not to ruin. And here we have some colorful characters. So right away, a way different toy going on here, and actually I just realized I totally failed in opening this. So I'll have to come back again. We have two characters included, but right away they look so much more like what you would find with Grocery Gang. But where I totally failed is what you're supposed to do is open this top first. Oh, now we have characters. Awesome. There we go. What you're supposed to do first is actually fill up this top uh, back basin with water. 
Then shake the toy around. I guess that strange lid barrier releases easier. And or reveals the toy inside. So a little confusing on that part. A little less easier not to use water on the set too, but that's kind of a cool novel idea. So don't open like I did, fill water up in this top tank, and then reveals the toys inside. And these little characters are a lot more playful so far, uh, a lot more appropriate. And oh boy, it looks like there's a lot more characters to collect with Flesh Force. I'm seeing, what, 150 uh, characters to collect uh, squishy and rare and all that sort of thing. Uh, who did I find here? So I found Trash Talker <laughs> from the Street Freaks and from the Gruesome Twosome, a Turd Bird. So again, a lot more appropriate with the Flesh Force, pretty much. There's a lot of potty humor involved, but it is not as graphic as what we just saw with Poopies. So that's probably really big of concern if you're a parent and what you're looking at. Poopies is extremely silly grotesque, while Flush Force is a little more playful and, should I say, whimsical. So there we go with some of the most disturbing toys that I've ever really taken a look at. I was really hesitant, of course, but since I kind of really take a look at a little bit of everything in the toy aisle, kind of felt like I had to give these guys a shot. I guess it just depends on your sense of humor and or your nausea level. The Poopies toys look like a really great potty training thing. For the things I've seen, I kind of just don't want to see these. Collectible, I'm not sure yet. Flush Force was a little less stinky to me, so I may encounter them again. So with that, I think I was able to get through the Poopies review. <laughs> and it looks like Skunk Squirrel as well. Poopies, let's get this potty started, appears on store shelves January 2018, runs approximately $2.99 to $9.99 depending on the toy, and your comfort level. If you're looking for something on the far end of the scale of foul, this is the mini toy collection for you. However, if you like to breathe in fresh air, perhaps stick with the Shopkins. And remember not to leave the poopies out in the sunshine for long lengths of time. That's what I have to say about that. Good job on your first day, Skunk Squirrel. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.